No matter where you live, some crime is going to be an inevitability. And while crime overall is rarer in places like Antarctica, it's definitely not an exception to this rule. In this isolated and cold environment, there's little use for money, so it's very uncommon for there to be any sort of theft or robbery. On the other hand, however, isolation in such a remote place is known to have some highly negative psychological effects often leading to individuals committing an act that they would otherwise never do. According to psychologist Peter Sudfeld of the University of British Columbia, living at a research station in Antarctica can be incredibly stressful. If you're stuck there with somebody you really can't stand, too bad. You're stuck with them. And if you're missing somebody who's far away, too bad. You're stuck without them. Some people thrive by developing a sense of solidarity and teamwork. Others may become depressed and change their behavior. To quote an article from Canadian Geographic, Antarctic stations can be a dull place to live. They're designed to minimize construction costs rather than keep people amused, interested, and comfortable. And extreme weather can make stepping outside for a change of scenery difficult, dangerous, or impossible. In one notable example from 1959, a fight broke out at the Vostok Research Center between two individuals over a game of chess 